Hey guys, it's Mitch again, the Comet C if you're on Warframe, and uh, I got the house to myself tonight, it's quiet, well, it's too loud to do recording with these storms that are kicking through here, but right now it's quiet and I can get away with doing this. So I figured I'd uh, have a little bit of fun and show you guys how I do all the different voices that I do for the channel, and um, give you a couple examples to show you in real time how I do this stuff. So, first things first, I do a lot of the voices I do, um, I do run them through filters. Stuff like for the Grenier or the Corpus, you know, especially the Mighty Prodhart, I run him through a fun filter. Uh, Scorch sounds completely different without the filter. Um, but I do all this stuff here. I create my filters using Harmer within FL Studio. It's a uh, synthesizer plugin that I love to use. I use it for all of my music. Just about every instrument I make, I make with Harmer from scratch. It's really powerful. And uh, I'll get FL Studio booted up here. But, um, yeah, before I even do anything with my characters that I do, I'm trying to keep my windows intact here. There we are. This is just one of my monitors. There's two monitors going here. Let me see, I got my stuff in the way here. I got a little bit of mayhem in the background. I, I, love, my, I love my mayhem. But, um, I will just, just get my solid state plugged in here. I'll show you guys how I... <laughs> takes a moment to get used to where I'm looking, where the camera is. I'll show you guys how I do this stuff. So I've got a... I'm the right monitor, right? You're gonna have to mind the weirdness of these screens. I have not done... Uh, I haven't done split monitors like this before for a video. But I've got a handy dandy little project file. As you can see, I've got a mountain of projects in here. But I have one I call Resynthesis Grenier Filter, or Grenier Voices. This is how I do all of my voiceovers. I do them in this. So there's also a lot of sound files. Like there we go. So this right here, what you're seeing here, this is Harmer. This is what I'm doing all of my stuff in. It really, it looks really complicated. It's not really as bad as it looks. It's kind of your basic, um, it's got all the goodies of an additive and a subtractive synthesizer built in, which is awesome. And um, for those of you that don't do music, basically I can add new sound waves to the sound wave that exists. I can add more to it, or I can take away from it. That's the most layman terms I can do. But I can do a lot of fun stuff with the sound waves from everything from pitching up and down, adding a cutoff filter in there to get rid of lower or higher frequencies. I can, you know, add multiple copies of the sound at different pitches or different phases in there. It's really cool. It's how I get a lot of the sound to do. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys how to do my personal favorite character to do, and that is Scorch. So, first things first, I gotta do my recording. I do my recording in Audacity, and I record on, uh, this derpy thing you see here. This is a, uh, this is actually not a microphone stand. This is a stand that goes to put music on. Like, usually there's a thing you place your music on up top of here, but I'm broke, and uh, I'm broke. So I've got a Tascam, cheap Tascam microphone right here. I use this for my recording. It sounds great. I love this thing. And I also got myself a nice little pop filter. This is really, really important. If you're going to do voiceovers, get a pop filter. They're like 10 bucks. And if you can't afford 10 bucks, Get a pair of pantyhose and a coat hanger, make a ring out of it, stick pantyhose over it, they work just as well. But, very important. So I got my Audacity booted up right here. Sorry, my window's over here. I'm going to make this look not as bad. There we go. Okay, so I've got Audacity booted up here. Let's say I'm going to do Scorch's voice. Let me just make sure my microphone is working properly. Check, check, one, two, check, check. Check, check, one, two, check, check. Okay, cool. So right there, I know my mic's working. This mic does some weird stuff every now and then. That's why I don't do these uh, video logs in this mic. But let's say, for example, I'm going to do Scorch. Now, Scorch's voice, not a lot of people will see this one coming when I explain to them, but his voice sounds something like this. It's quite a lot of fun. And um, a really psychotic, eccentric voice. I love doing it. But um, it goes from that to the final voice you hear. So I'm just going to do a quick little recording, a little sample thing. I'll make it quick. So, um, so right now I'm doing the voice for Scorch. He's quite a lot of fun to do, you know. Sometimes I just like to do voices when nobody's listening, because, uh, it makes me feel special. It's quite a good time. So that's Scorch in a nutshell. That's how he sounds when I do it. Which, when I play it back, sounds a little something like this. 
So right now I'm doing the voice for Scorch. He's quite a lot of fun to do, you know. Sometimes I just like to do voices when nobody's listening because uh, it makes me feel special. It's quite a good time. That's kind of his eccentric personality that I love. Now, there's a little bit of noise in the background from my air conditioner being on and the rain hitting it, so um, ignore this. This is just me doing noise removal. Um, extremely useful if you're doing voiceover yourself and your room isn't exactly a perfect, um, perfectly acoustically sound location. Just highlight a silent area that has that background noise. Get your noise profile under the noise removal effect. Deselect it and then run the effect again and that'll clear up any weird noises going on in the background. Makes life a lot easier. And uh, so with that, I just uh, do a quick little export. Thankfully, it already remembers what I was last working on. So just do Scorch for, for channel. Boom. So right there, I've got, there's my voiceover right there. This is before my filters, though. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how I build my filters because that's a long, complicated process that usually takes a couple of hours to nail down right. So what I'll do is I will find my layer, there we are, that has Scorch's shenanigans on it. I do one other thing really quick. I gotta go find the folder he's in. This is my solid state. It's where I keep everything on it. My massive advice to you guys: don't rely on a hard drive for your entire channel. If there's an earthquake or your system gets knocked over, that can break. That can break a regular hard drive. A solid state, you can beat the crap out of those things, and they still run like a charm, and they run a little bit faster, so it's easier to move your files around. So I just go find my sound folder. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. Actually, another copy of the project right there. <laughs> but uh, we're looking for Grenier Voices, Tess, and I got it right here, Scorch for Channel. I'm just going to move this off screen here really quick. Now, uh, fun little fact, that when, I, when I do Scorch's voice and I run it through the filter, there's actually two separate layers of his voice going. I've got one of them going at the normal pitch, and I've got one that's three semitones up, which is... Uh, it just adds a little extra flavor to his to his voice a bit. Because the way the Grenier are anyways, they already have multiple voices the way they sound anyways. There's kind of two separate sounds going simultaneously. It gives that kind of sound a little bit. On top of, you know, the stuff I'm already filtering through. It just sounds nice. It's more one of those things I stumbled upon by accident, and I'm very happy with it. So, um, here is the filter itself. Craziness, I know. Just bear with me. Um... I just drop it into the filter, which this one does, uh, there's two separate voices going, which actually is four of them with the two layers on there. Um, it splits the sound waves off, that are the harmonics in the sound off. Like normally you have, okay, boom, 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 you three sound waves, or three harmonics going. The way Prism works is it takes, you have your center one, still goes normal, and your other two go down and up. Which is very interesting. It's a very bizarre effect they only have in Armor I've seen. But uh, if I were to drop uh, Scorch into here, this is Scorch, right? This is Scorch. You go from that normal voiceover, let me just make sure I've got a long enough thing here, because this is a long voiceover. Just pull you out to here. And we get, whoops, explosions. We get something that sounds a little bit like this. Whoops. Note to self, got to fix my pitch each time I do this. You get something that sounds a little bit like this. So right now I'm doing the voice for Scorch. He's quite a lot of fun to do, you know. Sometimes I just like to do voices when nobody's listening because it uh, makes me feel special. It's quite a good time. Had to mute my microphone for a second there. But that's basically the process I go through for doing any of my voices. There are a couple voices I do that don't get filtered. Like the Mighty Prod, or not Mighty Product, derp. Yeah, the Mighty Prothode sounds a little something like this. There's really not a whole lot going through with this filter, but, um, like, the Mighty Boobin is just me talking like that for the whole time. It's it's fun stuff. Um, and it's really easy to do. So if I do the, if I do the Mighty Boobin, I either got lazy with my filters or he's the only character that works for this scenario. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I love doing the, the characters here. I mean, I've got, what else I got? I have Vargas Fuck here, which I need to bring him back. All right, he's all me on it. That seems pretty good. Got, um, there's also a couple in here that I just never made characters of. Uh, the Mighty Prod Heart. <laughs> Some twitching was the last voice I ever did with him. Um, 
Prime Weapon System I recently made is actually a very simple filter. Um, all it really is is just a high pass filter and chorus. There's really nothing else to it. It's an extreme. Oh, and a little bit of distortion. But um, yeah, it's just it's pretty much just that, and I detuned it a slight bit. Is extremely simple filter. You can do this without the stuff I'm using right here. You can just use regular old effects and uh, whatever software you're using. But um, yeah, that's basically the process I go through. I mean, if you guys have any questions about it, I'll gladly answer. I mean, it's, this stuff is fun. I love doing this. So um, I guess for now, I will catch you guys next time with the Partner Bad Ideas. Catch you later.